please see this question please see this question your question is a trader bought 15 books at the price of 12 books and sold 12 books at the price of 15 books find his profit percentage find his profit percentage everyone listen carefully sir what they are saying is a trader bought 15 books at the price of 12 books assume that assume that cost of one book is cost of one book is one rupee right i will assume that the cost of one book is nothing but one rupee now what is that they are saying a trader bought buying is nothing but cost price cost price of 15 books cost price of 15 books is at the trader bought 15 books at the price of 12 books if one book is costing one rupee 12 books will cost 12 rupees this is my first statement second statement says and sold 12 books sold is nothing but selling price selling price of 12 books sold 12 books at the price of 15 books for one book it will cost one rupee for 15 books it will cost 15 rupees that means the cost price of 15 books is given as 12 rupees selling price of 12 books is given as 15 rupees what is the profit percentage is the question i already again taught you how to find these values i already told you how to find this kind of questions very very simple express it as sp by cp second equation is 12 sp is equal to 15 First equation is 15 CP is equal to 12. Divide one by the other. It will become SP by CP. If I further simplify, 3 into 4, 3 into 5, 3 into 5, 3 into 4. That means SP by CP cross multiply. 5 into 5 is 25. 4 into 4 is 16. So it is 25 by 16. Right? It is 25 by 16. But what is the question? Question is find the profit percentage. That means how to find the profit percentage after getting SP by CP. That also I taught you just 5 minutes before. Denominator is 16. Write down the same 16 in the denominator. Don't change the denominator. Now, 16 is becoming 25. 16 is becoming 25. That means there is an increase of how much? There is an increase of 9 increase is nothing but the profit percentage 9 by 16 can also be written as 9 into 1 by 16 1 by 16 value is 1 by 16 value is 6.25 percentage so 9 into 6.25 it is value is nothing but 56.25 percentage profit percentage for this question is 56.25 percentage how 1 by 16 is 6.25 sir i taught you in my previous classes that 1 by 8 is 12.5 1 by 16 is half of 1 by 8 half of 12.5 is 6.25 9 into 6.25 is 56.25 percentage. Every concept what I have discussed earlier is very, very extremely important. And I believe that you will understand it better as I take more and more problems. How 12, how 12 SP divided by 15 CP? Simple Ravi Shankarja. This equation is nothing but 12 SP is equal to 15. Same thing I wrote it here also beta. Same thing. This equation is 15 CP is equal to 12. Same thing I wrote it here. And then I put a division sign in between. That's all. There is no difference. And these are all very, very basic concepts. What I taught in first class. I definitely emphasize each and every student to revisit my first three classes. And then watch my fourth class. If you are an enrolled student. I am telling you again and again and again. You think that who will watch all those earlier classes? Let me jump directly to the fourth class. And I also tell you that you will not understand it better. Simple. There is no discussion at all. When you know what is A for, then only you can create A for Apple, A for Alphabet, A for Aeroplane or whatever it is. First you should learn alphabets, sir. Without knowing alphabets, you are trying to learn the sentence creations. I think that will not happen. Please see this question. Your question is, your question is, 7% of SP of an article is equal to 8% of CP. 
seven percent of selling price is equal to eight percent of cost price. This is my first statement. I already told you that. Express it in the form of SP by CP. Express it in the form of SP by SP by CP. If I express it in SP by CP form, percentage will cancel first of all on both the sides. So SP divided by CP, SP divided by CP, it is nothing but with SP seven is multiplied. So seven should come in the denominator. Only then when you cross multiply, it will become seven SP. With CP eight is multiplied. Eight should come in the numerator. Then only when you call cross multiply, it is CP into eight. It is eight CP, right? It is eight CP. Can I say that SP by CP is eight by seven? Or in other language, I can also say that SP is to CP is eight is to seven. SP is to CP is eight is to seven. Now, what is the next statement? Next statement they are saying that. They are saying in the next statement that nine percent of SP is one rupee more than ten percent of CP. That means nine percentage of SP is one rupee more than ten percentage of CP. It is given in terms of percentage. And in my second class, if I remember, I told you a statement. Whenever it is given in terms of percentage, the best number to make use of is hundred. Or multiples of hundred. Instead of writing SP and CP as eight is to seven, I will write SP and CP as eight hundred is to seven hundred. Eight hundred is to seven hundred is also eight is to seven. Sir, why are you writing it as eight hundred is to seven hundred? Because eight hundred and seven hundred are multiples of hundred, and percentage will be easier to calculate. Now see here, sir. What I meant is. The second statement in the question is nine percent of SP. That means right now the SP is eight hundred. What is nine percentage of eight hundred? Nine percentage of eight hundred is nine into eight. It is seventy two. Is one rupee more than ten percentage of CP? Right now CP value is seven hundred according to my assumption. What is ten percentage of CP? Ten percentage of seven hundred is. It is seventy. That means, can I say that whatever I have written till now, everything is according to my assumption. According to my assumption, nine percentage of SP is seventy two. Ten percentage of CP is seventy. Can I say that nine percentage of SP is two rupees more than ten percentage of CP? Seventy two is how much more than seventy? Seventy two is two rupees more than seventy. That means, according to my assumption, nine percentage of SP is two rupees more than ten percentage of CP. But according to the question, it is one rupee more than ten percentage of CP. According to my assumption, it is two rupees more. According to the question, it is one rupee more. What is the main question? Find the cost price. According to my assumption, cost price is seven hundred. According to the question, how much they are asking? Two is becoming one. Two divided by two is one. Seven hundred also divided by two. Seven hundred divided by two is three fifty. Cost price for this question is three fifty. Very very easy and logical way of problem solving. And I believe that it is clear for many students who kept on listening to my classes from the last few days. And I am very very happy that maximum number of people are understanding it better. Find out everything according to your assumption. These kind of questions I have already solved some varieties in my first two or three classes of profit loss and discount. Find out everything according to my assumption. Convert according to the question. That is the most easiest way of problem solving. Sanjay Reddy, this is for you, beta. One pen will cost five rupees. Eight pens will cost how many rupees? What we are doing now, Sanjay, is One is becoming eight. Multiply by eight. Five also multiply by eight. If one pen is five rupees, you purchase the eight pens. You should pay forty rupees, Sanju. The shopkeeper will not agree for one pen is five rupees. Eight pen means you are adding seven for one. One plus seven is eight. He will not ask you to give five plus seven twelve rupees, right? Please do not use addition or subtraction factor. There is nothing called as like that. You can take it, Kamla Kar. There are multiple ways because I thought SP by CP ratio initially, 
I just used that concept. There are multiple ways, Kamlakar. Once you start, anyway, you have been a student who has been listening to my class from the last so many months. I think you have learned a lot of new techniques of deriving on your own after listening to my classes. That is a very good sign for a student. 